wish you an enjoyable stay. Thank you. Welcome to the Games Master Oil Rig, where chapped lips and a ruddy complexion are just some of the hardships we endure for a spot of games playing. So while I slip on a bit of anti-chafe, let's go over to the installation's chief red coat, Uncle Games Master. Greetings and welcome aboard the Games Rig. I must say, I do admire your pluck in continuing to want to pitch your skills against my challenges. As an erstwhile classic scholar, I felt somewhat duty-bound to introduce you to the world of Greek mythology. Hence, my first challenge is on a game called Myth. If you wish to attain demigod status, you will need to get through the Temple of Athenae in under one minute, 30 seconds. Don't forget to sever the Medusa's head, as without it, you will be impotent against the mighty Hydra, the last obstacle between you and the heavens. I hope this challenge does not expose your Achilles heel, And classically hacking his way through this challenge is an Essex man, Tim Kant. Well, Tim. Okay, now Tim, what have you brought down with you here? My joystick. All right. Um, why have you chosen this particular one for the challenge? Well, it's a hard game, a stiff challenge. So to thrash it, I need a well-used stick. Okay. <laughs> and um, how do you feel about uh, ancient Greece, Tim? Oh, well, I get enough in the school canteen. I'm not sure about this, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, if you'd like to take your place in the games playing chair, we'll get ready to start. And joining me in the commentary box is Tom Watson from Renegade. Welcome, Tom. Good evening, Dominic. <laughs> now, Tom, we've got a rather buoyant competitor here. Does he need any tips? Well, I'm not sure Tim does. He's obviously really given the game a good practice beforehand. I think he's pretty confident. OK, we're not going to give anything away then to Tim. Just to reiterate, Tim has got one and a half minutes to eliminate the Hydra at the end of the level. Tim, are you ready? Yes. Then off you go. OK, so here goes Tim playing the Warrior and Carl again. That's right, Dominic. He's got a pretty nasty monster coming up. The, uh, the Warriors aren't too difficult. He should be able to get over them without too many... That's problems. right, he's choosing to jump over them rather than kill them, a nice That's tactic. That's right, he's uh, much easier, they don't present too much of a challenge. But now look at this babe, this is Medusa, you don't want to have her standing across the dance floor or the breakfast table. No, at definitely not, wouldn't, wouldn't improve your cornflakes any at all. Now he's really got it, oh, oh he just ran, oh no, but he's been turned to stone by blow. Medusa, but the head's still there, he managed to get the head off. That's right, and the head's going to be really important in just a few seconds when he makes it to the Hydra. Okay, selected there the he head, goes. he has got 53 seconds left, so he's been quite well for time, Tom. Exactly, he's got, got to make some of these jumps. Now this head is invaluable, it's the only thing that defeats yeah, the Hydra, and here right. is the Hydra in all its technical now, there's, there's glory. there's a certain way of attacking the Hydra to stop it shooting at you, and so far he's doing it right. He's going for the bottom head, as you can see. There's nothing coming out of the Hydra's mouth. Here it goes. Oh, the Hydra's no. had enough. Is he actually? I think he was missing the head. I'm not sure if he was getting it. He's only got 30 seconds left. He's got to speed up this a little bit, Tom. Well, three, three heads to go. And he's only got 20, seconds, 24, 23 one seconds down, now. One he head can, down. He's he going for the top one now. He he's got a hurry it. because he's getting hit. There, he could be running out of life. Uh, he could be losing his life. But he's always skillfully dodged that one. Oh, no, he's oh, falling he into oblivion. Tim Khan couldn't hack it, and his challenge is over. <laughs> oh, that's Tim. Well... All right, thank you. Not too much applause. That's quite enough, thank you. Now, Tim, you had a really good start, but then uh, things started to go a bit wrong. What I happened? didn't have enough time to get rid of all these heads. I mean, if he's just one-headed normal monster, he would have been okay. Um, well, um, unfortunately, we can't give you the golden joystick. Oh, so well, I've got this one to keep me going. All right, then. Well, we hope it does. Another round of applause for today's competitor, Tim Khan. <laughs> thank you. Okay, now, three games publishers are frantically fretting. Will we give their games a swinsome smacker or a brief brush off? Find out in this week's review.
Tonight, it's towel flicks in the showers as we look at sports games. First up on the Master System, a futuristic fracas in Speedball 2. Speedball 2 is a fun, fast and furious game and has converted well from the Mega Drive. I was pleased to see that the gym section had been included from the Mega Drive version so that you could beef up all your players, alter their attributes and make them tougher in-game. It's better than any other game of its type on the Master System. It's highly original and very addictive. Next up on the NES, trade sweaty blows with Fat Boy himself in George Foreman's Knockout Boxing. It's basically just a case of slugging out against a computer opponent who's super fast and incredibly resilient. And as a result, it's very boring to play. The moves are very limited and the graphics are very jerky and badly animated. Realism is totally lost and you can't really get any feel for boxing. I've had more fun watching paint dry. Finally, on the Mega Drive, stroke your way from bunker to hole in world-class leaderboard. Good courses, excellent graphics, and the animation on the golfer is superb. Shows you which clubs to use when, and how far you should be patting your balls. As golfing simulations go, this is second only to PGA Tour Golf. Now for this week's feature. As you should know by now, the most pant-wettingly brilliant day out in history is nearly upon us. Yes, it's only four weeks until Games Master Live at the Birmingham NEC on 4th, 5th and 6th of December. Every entertainment imaginable will be on offer, including Quasar, your chance to shoot people in a harmless prank kind of way. Virtual reality, if you've wanted to get stuck into more moist experiences, try your hand like this probing fellow here, desperately trying to master his thrusting technique. There will be arcade games aplenty for you to play, as well as the chance to try out the most bottom-smackingly beautiful games around. And the creme of everybody's creme, yours truly will be hosting live challenges, just like you've seen on the rig. The dates are 4th, 5th and 6th of December, the place the Birmingham NEC. To book, call 021 780 and Games Master Club members get whopping discounts. A couple of veritable corkers there tonight. Now it's time for us to stride majestically onto the Celebrity Challenge. So let's see what Games Master has planned. For my second challenge, I thought we might make a sortie across the pond for the muscle-bound hyperbole of American gladiators. I've opted for the game's assault course, as I feel that is the event which offers the best combination of the old Olympian ideals of strength, speed and endurance. Best of luck to you. And to play this challenge, we're very lucky to have two of your favourite British gladiators. So please welcome Jet and Shadow. Yeah. Welcome, oh, Shadow. OK, now, Jet, you're giving away a considerable weight advantage to your opponent tonight. Will this be a problem for you? Oh, absolutely not. No. <laughs> I know, I know you, you, you work as a team on the programme, but are you going to be a little bit competitive tonight? Oh, yes, it's a game. Oh. It's a game. <laughs> OK, now, Shadow, I'm thinking of getting a physique like yours for Christmas. How many hours a day do I have to train? At least four hours a day for um, the next ten years. OK, well, I'll start after the show. If you'd like to see who wins this gladiatorial combat between Jet and Shadow, join us after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Games Master. Tonight we are playing the American Gladiators game. We're on the assault course and we have two of your favourite British gladiators, Jet and Shadow, about to tackle it. With me in the commentary box is Games Master's very own Stephen Carsey. Welcome, Steve. Good evening, Dominic. Now, any tips for Jet and Shadow tonight? Well, it's all about stamina. It's all about stamina. Someone once very special to me said, keep those fingers moving. <laughs> all right, Steve. Mm. We'll bear that in mind. Are our two competitors ready? Yes. Then, off you go. Okay, so we have Jet in the blue at the top of the screen, Shadow in the red at the bottom. A nice even start by both of them. But I think that Jet's slightly ahead. Yes, yes Jet's made the, made the rim of the air. Uh, great start. Great start. Shadow's catching up though very quickly. Oh, no, they both stopped here. These bicycle pullers are a problem, Steve. They are a problem indeed. It's, it's a lot of stamina involved here. A lot of strength in the upper arm, the upper torso. It certainly is. But they're both stiffening up a little bit. I think now Shadow's taking the lead here. Very slightly, very slightly in the lead. 
Shadow's racing away. He's got to avoid the pendulums here. Oh, and, oh, oh no! Up and now that's going to lose him some time, Yes, Steve. he's got to climb out of that pit now, Dominic. Meanwhile, Jet is nearing the end of the bicycle pulleys here. Well, oh, Shadow seems Come to be on, stuck. Come on, Jet, you can Come do on, it. Jet. Come he's on, only got about six more inches left, but that could seem like a, a now, mile or two to some people. Shadow's got to climb this, uh, this net here. Onto the uh, scaffolding. Come on, Jet, she's nearly off it. Go on, Jet. Jet. Off it. Come, Come on, Jet. Jet. Come on. She's busy with the end. Now Jet's got to power along this way. That's it, Jet's being a lot better now. But meanwhile, yes. Shadow at the bottom, he's on it in oh. the skyline thing. Oh, no. That slide. And Jet's been knocked off. Jet's, Jet's got to climb up this well. thing. She doesn't want it. She's had enough. And J Come Jet's on, had Shadow. enough. Oh, no. Jet's made a little bit of a spot up there, but it might be too late. Meanwhile, Shadow could run out of time. He's just crossed that. Oh. He's just been in time. And Shadow is tonight's winner. <laughs> OK, now, Jet, you made a brilliant start. You were first up the slope then, then what went wrong? Well, what can I say? Just watch next week's Gladiators and make sure I don't go wrong in the real <laughs> thing. <laughs> yes, boys, you have to watch those bicycle pulleys at the end there. I think that, that was what really floored you. It's quite, quite tricky, the controls for that, isn't it? It was. It's finger power and it just wasn't there. OK, well, it was there for you, Shadow. Well, let's talk about finger power. I have all the power and the fingers, uh, what can I say? OK, um, perhaps in the future we can have a rematch between the two years. Will sure, you be up for it? For sure, for yep, sure. Definitely. Give her another chance. OK, <laughs> well, tonight's winner of the coveted golden joystick is Shadow! <laughs> well, I'd like to give another round of applause for our two special guests tonight, Jet and Shadow! <laughs> While we recover from that splendid demonstration of games playing, let's waltz up the Games Master who's reclining in his consultation zone. Hello, Games Master. Welcome to the helipad. How can I help you? In Zelda 3, I can't defeat Ganon. A surprising lapse, if I may say so. Follow these instructions. Light both torches in the bottom corners of the screen, and then freeze Ganon with your sword. Then shoot a silver arrow into his miserable hide, and repeat the process six times to finish him off once and for all. Thanks a lot. Next, please. I've completed Cast of Illusion. I can't find any of the secret levels. Do you know where they are? Don't question my knowledge. It irritates me. <clears throat> From the start, go through the middle door. After you've met the first clown, don't go up the ladder, but instead pick up the block and throw it near the toy train. You should now be able to jump onto the cloud of smoke from where you can access a secret level. Thanks very much. Let's fit in just one more. What's your query? In Far and Ice, I've heard there were loads of hidden levels, but I cannot find them yet. Can you help me, please? There are indeed numerous hidden levels on Far and Ice. I'll divulge the first in the ice world. To get there, you will need to pass through two walks. The first is to the far right of level two, and to manage by shooting invisible bonus blocks. Once you've been walked to the next level, walk right where you'll find a cave and another hidden bonus block. Simply jump onto the block and then into the air to reach the secret level. Thanks, Games Master. That concludes this week's get-together. But don't forget to keep the problems coming. Some golden bonding moments there, but time is drawing on and we must slot in our final challenge. So it's back to Games Master. Tennis is the game. And Super Tennis is my choice for this particular challenge. I've decided to plump for traditional grass and to make it the best of five games only. An aggressive serve and volley game could pay dividends. Time, please. 
And flying out for a few firm forehand strokes tonight, we have Jason Pickford and Tristan Grove. <laughs> Now, Jason, what tactics are we going to see from you tonight? I'm going to try and take him out on my strongest serve. On your strongest serve? You yep. think that'll do the trick? Yeah, hopefully. Okay, Tristan, you've had slightly more experience on the game than Jason. Does that make you the favourite? I think so, yeah. I'm going to whip his ball straight into shape from that baseline. Okay, then. Right, well, Jason, I'm not too happy about the old shell suit bottoms there, to tell you the truth, so I'm going to let Tristan call the toss. Call, please, Tristan. It's heads, Tristan, so you can choose do you want to serve or receive first. Okay, Tristan, would you like to take the right-hand seat? Jason in the left. We'll get ready to serve. And joining me for strawberries and champers tonight is Jeremy Daldry from Game Zone. Welcome, Jeremy. How are you doing, Dominic? I'm very well. Now, the two people they've picked, Phil and Matt, tell me a bit about them. Well, Phil is the best all-rounder, right. best range of shots. Matt, though, is very strong from the baseline. Okay, then, so we might have a net baseline battle here. Are our two competitors ready? Then Tristan, serve. Okay, we have uh, Tristan as Phil in the bottom there. It's the first person to get to three games. Right. Here comes Phil serving. He's serving wide. Lovely one curves out. Lovely return there from Matt. Oh, sneaks in there. A good start from Tristan. He starts off with the advantage in serving. It's a good way to start this game. 15 love. Oh, a little oh, curves one in there. Beautiful serve. 30 love to Tristan. Crosses up. Oh, lovely serve again. Is an inviting the Oh, court. a lovely little passing oh. shot, but it was out. Oh, desperately close there. 30 15 to Tristan. Lovely boom serve. If Jason returns it, returns it again. He's playing the angles here. Lovely little flick. This is developing a good rally. Tristan sends him in the thick to the middle of the court here. It's down the side. Oh, a little it's slice there. Lovely little slice. Oh, court. beautiful, beautiful cross court shot there from Jason to tie it up at 30 all. They're certainly not easy shots to pull off. Okay. Oh, lovely little backhand classic shot there. Oh, I think. Oh, oh no, there was a bit of chalk dust on that, Jamie. That was no, a close call. Was. Break point to Jason. Lovely serve there, good return. Oh, lovely little. Oh, and it's out. Way it's too out. wide. Way Jason too wide. has broken Tristan serve to lead 1 0. Right. Jason has a nice little serve. He went wide for that one. Ball is it. Oh, but it's out. Really, I think they both try and need to get a bit more net dominance. That's true. Okay, 15 all. Jason lovely serve, nice big boom in return there. Lovely little flick shot there from Tristan at the top. Jason returns it, they're sticking to the middle there. Lovely little slice there. Oh, oh a beautiful cross court oh, return. Absolutely beautiful. Beautifully on the backhand there. Perfectly weighted, 30 15 to Jason. Nice. Oh, slower oh. serve that time. There was, caught him out. Definitely caught him out. 40 15, game point to Jason. Lovely fast serve, but oh, he's done it. Two so games, good. nil to Jason. Now, we did say Tristan was the favourite, Jeremy, but Jason's right. playing out of his skin. He is playing a uh, game of his life. I think Tristan's going to have to come from behind now. He's on his... Oh, that was a cheeky little shot. 15 love to Tristan. Oh, oh, unlucky there. The thinking was right, but the playing was just slightly out of sync. Oh, lovely shot. Oh, it's out again. Tristan must hold his serve here. Little shot. Oh, delicate little net dollop there, but he's returned Return marvelously. Oh. Musical shot. Okay, 40, 15 game point to Tristan. Oh, lovely little, oh, well placed there Beautiful. by one. Well placed by Jason. Nice little set. Oh, oh, they're just overstretching a little bit, so that means that Tristan has taken that game. It's now 2 1 to Jason. So we have Jason Seven. Nice oh, beautiful, oh, beautiful. And it's it. oh, oh, a beautiful a shot. Amazing shot, but no, oh, but Tristan was equal to it. Just touched Delicate over there. Uh, donkey drop over the net there. Nice shot from Jason there. Oh, lovely little shot, yes. 15 all. Two games to one up. Oh, nice return. Wrong foot in there. Oh. Slightly lovely little cross court shot there. Returns at the cross court. Up towards the baseline, lovely little baseline return there, flicks it over, flick. Oh, it's just that reach. No, he gets it. He's diving, lovely little delicate donkey drop there from Jason. Oh, oh. lucky. Doesn't look that way. Oh, lovely looping serve there from Jason. Just in the turns it. They're matching each other, stroke for stroke. They're lovely little shot, but he's returned it right down the left hand side of the court. Returned it again. This is so close this point here. Nobody's giving any quarter away. Oh, lovely little one there, could have run through him, but he doesn't. It's bad, lovely shot. No, they're still returning it from every angle here. Oh, oh through his leg. Beautiful shot there from Tristan. 
He's got break point here, 15 40. This point to tie the match, and it looks good. Yes, that is beautiful. the game is tied to all. This is the deciding game. Play. This is where I think the players' nerves will come into importance of their own. That's a lovely serve there for serve there. Oh, oh, that was the tiredness there, I think. I think so. That and the pressure together. Love to see. Nice pass there, a lovely little return. Oh, oh, yes. He got the weight on that perfectly, but I can't help thinking that perhaps Tristan's feeling the effect. He's got to come back strongly. That was a well positioned shot. Is he going to get there? He's got there. Jason oh, flicks. Oh, oh, desperately unlucky there. Very tense minutes here. Oh, beautifully weighted serve. He's got to flick it across court one. But Jason gets to it once oh. again. Oh, he's proven desperately unlucky with these longer shots. Tough it all. Nice serve there. The cross court volley's open and inviting there. But Jason gets to it. He's moving very well. Oh, and that's in. But that's he's in. just managed he's to return it. Oh, my word. It did bounce twice there, unfortunately. Oh. Beautifully placed. Return shot there. 40 30. Match point to Tristan. Oh, no, he's missed it. Juice. Juice. This is such a close game. A lovely booming serve there. Superb serve. Oh, nicely weighted. But Jason gets it. He's been very quick around the court. Lovely place. But, oh, oh. Serve again. That shot keeps going out there. He wants to try and just, just loosen up a little bit. I think he's a wee bit tense around the shoulders. He keeps going, he's got to the cross. Oh, oh, this could be the, oh yes, that's winner. it! That's winner. it! It's game set of match to Tristan Grove. <laughs> what a challenge! What an absolute stonker of a game. Listen. Jason, you tore ahead at the start, 2-0 up. You were, you were the unfancied one out of both of you. It's not just because of the, the Chelsea bottoms, but just generally. Then what happened? You started to crumble slightly. I'm not happy with the umpire. I think there was a few shots that were in that weren't counted. Oh, a little bit unhappy there. OK, let's go over to the victor. Well, any comments about the umpire? Oh, I think it was perfect umpiring. Oh, you I'm, worried, I'm sure of it, yeah. Well, you are walking away tonight, Tristan Grove, with the Games Master Golden Joystick. And let's have a final round of applause for two brilliant competitors, Jason Pickford and Tristan Grove. So that brings tonight's show to a close. The divers come to beckon me towards the canteen to sample Auntie Marisha's latest tea time extravaganza. It's shark fin thermidor tonight. I can hardly contain myself. So we'll see you in seven days. Good night.